So when I first went in, I went to see the GP and I told them about um, what was wrong with me and they agreed that, yes, I need to have a surgery. I ended up having the surgery eventually, about three years later. You literally get told an hour before the appointment, get ready now, you have to leave right now. There's very little information given, oh, oh we've got a hospital appointment, that's it, but where are we going? Who am I going to see? There's so much going on in your mind. that Some prisons only allow one person to go out per day. Now, if there's an emergency that day, that normal appointment gets cancelled. You go downstairs already anxious to know why you're being called downstairs and then they'll tell you have an appointment. Trips to the hospital were quite cosy to say the least. Um, and I was practically sitting on her lap with like my elbow into her breast because you're literally crammed into the back of a rather small car. In prison everything's so slow and then suddenly you're nearly 100 miles an hour um, in a taxi with stuck between two officers with no seatbelt on, you know. It's not just purely the healthcare, it's the whole experience um, involved with it. Where I'm going, what, I, what I'm going for, they don't know. I get into the hospital and then it's like, we're working it out. And it feels very disorganised. Um, it is kind of like passing the Red Sea when you walk in the prison with, with ha into a hospital with handcuffs on. Everybody gets out of your way. Parents grabbing the kids out of the way and things like that because I can understand that they're just seeing handcuffs is not a good look at all. I'm very aware that sometimes people do complain that we're sitting there and they might make comments. And they've, they struggle to find a place for me to wait. And what happened is they found like a broom cupboard to where I had to wait, which was definitely that degrading. I'm valued less than a normal person. The doctor addresses the officers first, almost as if they're your parents and, and, you're, and you're the child in the situation. They should be addressing you, not the officers. If you're having an intimate exam, you're on a chain with handcuffs with an officer next to you. That, you may be embarrassed about what, what you're discussing with the, the doctor about especially the female side of things. When you go out on escorts, you go out with one male and one female. I don't want them hearing that. I really don't want to be discussing, like, my lady stuff in front of male members of staff. They're not covered by uh, a medical code of practice or ethics at all. They, therefore, you've almost got an embarrassment and you don't really sometimes don't want to talk about things. So, yeah, it was a bit odd, to say the least. Uncomfortable. Um, and it leaves you feeling like you've wasted a doctor's appointment because you haven't actually said everything you need to say. Uh, I've had um, appointments where the doctors actually asked the officers to step outside the room. Now they put you on a long chain and they are literally on the other side of the door. But this doesn't happen in every instance. And I think it's to do with confidence and the doctor's not actually sure what they can ask and what they can't ask. They might prescribe you something which actually you're not allowed to have being in prison because there are some medications that we are not allowed to get. Um, so it doesn't matter what your condition is, if you're prescribed that, you're not going to get that. It's hard because you feel frustrated and trapped in this like never-ending universe of like, but this is actually wrong, there is something there, please somebody help me. It's a numbing experience, it's a frustrating experience. What they need to do is understand that we're just there for their help. I think the main solution to everything is better communication. Differences between good experiences and bad experiences are quite small. Um, when a doctor says hello to you before the prison officers, those little things make a big difference because it gives you confidence that the person actually knows what they're doing and the person's treating you as a patient. Just remember that each patient you see, although they come from prison, they have a backstory and they may have gone through horrendous trauma to end up where they are today. And actually coming to the hospital might be 
the first step in them re actually rebuilding their lives and changing to have a better future and become normal members of society.